Let's look at this almost new 2018 Steve Huber VRB75. Go, we're going to listen to what it sounds like. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, here we go. <laughs> registers. Here we go. at this banjo and this has a, uh, a kind of a satin finish on the uh, metal which makes it look real good and it lasts forever that way of course you can see the presto tailpiece the one each one uh, piece armrest and uh, I guess we'll turn it on its side a little bit and you can see the side this is a mahogany banjo okay and then we'll go up the neck and you see the flying eagle uh, inlay right there and I'll turn it over and you can see the back of the neck so this banjo for all intents and purposes has never been played uh, now if we look at the uh, the frets I mean there's two minor minor little marks on the second fret only and uh, now let's look at the uh, uh, let's look at the inside of the banjo. So VRB 75, and uh, here's what it looks like. And it has the, the uh, Uber engineered rim, and then it has the uh, HR30 tone ring. And if you're ever wondering, and you have a Uber, and you're wondering if it's an HR30, I don't think we can get close enough to show this, but right under the tailpiece you'll see you may say it, it says HR30 there on the outside. And I think uh, one of the things that uh, tone makers do is they always stamp it on the inside. So if you don't know what the tone ring is, you have to totally disassemble the banjo. So Steve thought, hey, it'd be a nice thing to put it on the outside where you don't have to do that. So um, I can't say enough about this banjo. I've owned quite a few original flatheads, and I think I've owned nine original five string Gibson flatheads. and the Uber, without question, comes closest to that pre-war sound. And the only way you could actually really appreciate how incredible it is, is if you had a circle with a couple pre-wars in it, a couple Ubers with the HR30, a couple conversions, and then a couple of the other uh, banjos that people like, including the tone rings they like, which I won't mention at this time. And I've done this quite a few times at Uber's and it, it amazes me that sometimes I'll hear a banjo with another tone ring in it and I'll say man that is the best banjo in the world and until we sat down with all the other instruments I didn't really hear that the HR30 has a complete uh, spectrum of sound it doesn't have any holes in it in other words you don't go up here and it misses something and the other 
manufacturers from my listening to this, they might be real deep, but they don't have that perfection that the old flatheads have. So I just want to tell you that because I've spent a lot of time with Steve and I've seen what he can do. If you uh, want more uh, information, you can go to banjowarehouse.com. You can call Andy at 404 372 5482. And if you want to come by, just give us a call. We can see you seven days a week. And we have people fly in from California, New York. And uh, it's great because you can see 70 banjos at one time. And when you leave, you'll know exactly what it is you want and the sound that you like. So you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.